Hi, I'm Paul with RockOutfitters.com. Here to show you the Kuat Sherpa 2.0. And here we have it installed on this Toyota RAV4. This vehicle is equipped with a two inch receiver hitch and we have a Kuat Sherpa that is a dedicated two inch stinger on this rack. So I'll go over some of the key features that make this rack unique. Uh, for starters, I'll go ahead and take it from the deployed position into the stowed position. To do that, I'll just bring these arms down Bring the front wheel cradles to the closed position, grab this handle, rotate it up, and let me go ahead and pull this rack off and I'll show you how it actually installs onto the receiver hitch. So you'll notice on the inside we have a wedge that pushes this ball bearing into the corner of the receiver and it acts as a very effective anti-wobble both vertically and horizontally. So I'll go ahead and insert it. To do that, it's always best to have it in this right angle stowed position. That way you don't have to lean over the, the length of the rack. You just stand, let the bottom of the stinger drop onto the bottom ledge of the hitch, bring it to the vertical position, begin moving it inward, and then use your hitch pin, insert that into the hole on the opposite side and continue to push forward using your hitch pin as a feeler to find the hole. Next, I'll go ahead and pull back on it. And as I pull back on it here, at this point on the rack, we have a rubberized turn knob. So I'm pulling back and jiggling a little bit so that ball bearing can kind of get seated into the corner of the hitch. And I tighten that as far as I can with my hand strength. And that's enough to give you a very, very effective anti-wobble vertically and horizontally. Okay, so while I'm down here, I'll also show you the security that's included. So you have a steel lock. It has a spring-loaded lock mechanism so that all I have to do is reach down and snap it on, and then that's gonna provide a very effective theft deterrent for this rack. Okay, so with that locked in place, we can look at some other parts of the rack. So we have this lever which allows for release from the stowed position into the carrying position and that lever can be activated in two ways one by grabbing it with your hand and lifting like you see and two you can use your foot to activate it either way whichever wor way works best for your situation okay so now it automatically snaps into this carrying position i'll go ahead and load a bike into this inside position. To do that, I'll just move this arm over and out fully. I'll bring the wheel cradle into the open position and I'll bring this rear wheel strap into the open position. By the way, the wheel strap is a, a rigid nylon strap with ratcheting mechanism. On the underside, it has soft rubber to protect the rim. It's on a pivoting tray, so it automatically adjusts to the wheelbase of the bicycle. And you can see here it has an indention for a thin road bike tire, but it accommodates wide mountain bike tires as well, same as the front cradle. So let me go ahead and load up a bike. In this case, it'll be a 29er with wide tires. I'll just uh, grab the bike at a low position and then lift, get that front wheel, into the front wheel cradle. And then here I'll use a little technique just called the dip technique where I dip it, get that wheel, rear wheel strap through the spokes, and now it's in place. First thing I wanna do is grab this arm and bring it up and over the, the tire. Here again, you'll notice there's a small indention for a road bike tire, but it can accommodate very wide mountain bike tires as well. So with my hand, I'll grab it here. I wanna bring it down as close as I can to the first point of contact without it actually making contact, whether it's a brake bridge, a road bike brake, what have you. Okay, once it's in that position, I wanna grab it here and push to give a good, strong connection on there. Make sure it has a very tight grip. Now in the rear, all I have to do here is just put this strap through the buckle and pull snug. So another feature to this rack is the ability to access the back of the vehicle even with the bicycle loaded. So once again, I'll grab 
this lever, pull it down and rotate the rack downward. Now this bike has very wide handlebars, large pedals, and yet I still have the ability to open. It clears the pedals, continue on up, and it clears the handlebars. So full access into the back of the vehicle, even with two bicycles loaded. To bring it back into the carrying position, you just grab the front, the nameplate here and lift, automatically clicks into that position. So lastly, we talked about the security for the rack to the hitch. Kuat also includes security to lock the bicycle to the rack. We have a heavy duty braided steel cable. One end is a loop, the other end is a lockdown point. So you can just simply run the cable through the frame, run that cable through the loop, and then here you have the lockdown point, which is easily accessible. And with the key, it's locked on. So you'll notice you have plenty of extra slack here for the second bike, or for, if it's just one bike, there's enough, sl enough slack to actually get it all the way around uh, both wheels and the frame. So you have excellent security with this rack. So those are all the key features of the Kuat Sherpa 2.0. This product and the full line of Kuat products is available at rackoutfitters.com. Please visit our website for complete details, our pricing, and our promotions, and thanks for watching.